Years of dangerous conflict during the Cold War provided the Soviet Union, and its successor, the Russian Federation, with the opportunity to build and fortify their towering naval forces. Particularly after the Cuban Missile Crisis, which saw the Soviets increase their naval investments. Another reason for the Kremlin to focus on modernizing its navy is because the critical conflict zones that they have in the Baltic region and surrounding areas are naval in nature. These are some of the best Russian warships. Number 1, Russian aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov. The Kuznetsov class aircraft carrier, it is known that Kuznetsov is the only aircraft carrier Russia has. Though this condition might change in the near future as the country has laid the groundwork for its successor the lighter class. Though Admiral Kuznetsov might lack in terms of capability compared to other superior aircraft carriers. It still remains a substantial threat for the competitors and also as a projection of Russian naval power across the continent. Kuznetsov can host up to 18 Su-33 fighters, and approximately half a dozen MiG-29 KS while expediting 420 Northern Fleet combat missions in Syria. Admiral Kuznetsov is classified as heavy aircraft carrying cruiser, rather than as an aircraft carrier due to its offensive capability in housing heavy armaments on board. Number 2, Russian destroyer Nastoychevy. Russian destroyer Nastoychevy class destroyer commissioned in December 1992 as one of the last destroyers in the Sovereignty class. Nastoychevy is noted as the flagship of Russia's Baltic fleet with a length of 156 meters and standard displacement of 6,600 tons. It is not only equipped with the superior SSN-22 Sunburn anti-ship missiles, Nastoychevy is also accompanied by the anti-submarine. Nastoychevy class frigates and the 128th Surface Ship Brigade an important naval showpiece for the Russian city of Kaliningrad. Nastoychevy is an ambitious destroyer by far the largest to be permanently stationed in the Baltic Sea. The Baltic fleet's regular and increasingly ambitious military drills add to the Baltic Sea's continual spiral of Russian NATO naval tensions. Number 3, Russian cruiser Moskva. Moskva class missile cruiser often confused due to the similarity of its name with other Moskva named helicopter carrier. Moskva is a Slava class missile cruiser, constructed with the same carrier killer concept as the Kirov class Moskva, which was commissioned in 1982 focused more on cost effectiveness. The ground attack capability of Moskva can be weaker when compared with its counterparts, however with 16 P-500 basalt anti-ship missiles, an SS-300F successfully established Moskva as an impressive flagship of Russia's Mediterranean fleet. Moskva was also known to be deployed from Latikaya in 2015, and was maintaining a key role in Russia's endeavor to counter Turkish maritime interventions into the Syrian civil war during a strained period in Russia-Turkey relations. Number 4, Russian battlecruiser Pyotr Veliki. Russian battlecruiser Pyotr Veliki of class battlecruiser commissioned in April 1998. Pyotr Veliki is the fourth Kirov class battlecruiser of the Russian Navy, which was formerly named Yuri and Drapov after the former General Secretary of the Communist Party. The ship's name later changed following the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Veliki is the flagship of the Northern Fleet, the fleet of the Russian Navy in the Arctic. The designation of Veliki to become battle cruiser has to do with the objective of neutralizing American aircraft carriers, because of this Pyotr Veliki is complemented with various anti-ship armaments like, the SSN-19 shipwreck missiles, which 20 of it are hosted by Veliki. Other significant installations for Veliki include based variants of the S-300 anti-aircraft missile system the S-300F. That's all for today, I hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, see you next time.